YouTube, what's going on? This your boy JB, man, the lifestyle of JB. Man, I'm coming out right now, man. I just figured out what was going on with the motor. It dropped the valve, broke the valve, which I explained to y'all in that last video. But come to find out, do not order no valve spring off eBay. Anything they say, pack 12, 19. Don't order none of that because it's not correct. Show y'all the reason why. This is the stock valve spring that came on the head. Man, look at the difference. And these the pack 12, 19. Look at the height difference. There is no way and these had collapsed on me. So that's the reason why the valve broke. And I lot of compression on the whole motor, man. Uh, there's no way. Now don't now don't nobody off eBay. Now don't nobody off eBay wants to fix my motor. So I just gotta go back and replace everything that was broken. But at the end of the day, I did order the uh Brian Tooley 660. Valve spring, which I should have done it first. Show y'all the difference. Look at there. A lot of difference. So I just put these on, just finished doing these. And I did get some more heads, which I showed y'all that in the last video too. So like I said, man, uh just waiting on the just waiting on the uh I'm waiting on the ring for the new piston then we're gonna put them all the back together but like i said man waiting on the rings for the piston i showed y'all i think in the last video man that i did take everything out i did disassemble everything now it, Tore it back down. But hopefully, man, this week, I should be able to go to the muffler shop. That was the plan last week. To go and take it to the muffler shop, but we ran into a little hiccup dealing with the valve spring. We were thinking that it was the lifters. Really, it wasn't the lifter, it was the valve spring, man. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, this a this my first fuel injection. This, you know what I mean? Don't have nothing to do with the bill. It was just, you know, I should have went with my first mind and gone ahead and ordered the Brian Tula valve spring, the 660 valve spring. But, you know, now I know I can apply pressure to it and it shouldn't damage anything. Or the lifters, or I'm gonna say the valve spring can hold up to the lift cam that I have. So, uh, that's what I got going on today, man. Actually, my day over with, I did the hard part was to assemble the heads with the valve spring and the valves, stuff like that. So, uh, hopefully tomorrow, probably not be tomorrow, probably be Wednesday. Cause tomorrow I know by the time I get them, they not gonna be in so probably Wednesday when I get a chance to really to assemble the motor go and put everything back together. Uh then I do have some valve, I'm gonna say the head gasket for my uh red Monte Carlo too. So I wanna redo the top end on it man so I can have a clear head and mind on it too. So uh I got I got new lifters and stuff like that for you. I'm gonna say for that motor, I'm gonna say for that car too, so. Got new lifters and all, so. Trey, so. Hopefully, man, we get a chance to get these cars running, man, and uh, <laughs> hopefully, I have at least one of the cars ready by June 1st, man. Uh, I am going to 78 Chevy, boy car show in North Mississippi. So I know I am going to that. If I have to take the Impala, that, that'll be the only car. So I'll be, I'll be there, you know what I mean? So uh, the video ain't gonna be long today. 
Uh, really, I'm ready to get back to it. I'm gonna have to put some more content out. So, once again, man, this is the lifestyle of J Bills, man. Y'all hit the like button. Y'all subscribe to your boy, man. Uh, Nita, comments in the comment section. Hit the like button. And y'all, uh, stay tuned to my bill, man. This is Lifestyle of J Bills.